I just got to give a round of applause. Boogie Cousins, Monte Morris, Will the Thrill, Aaron Gordon, Bones Highland, Austin Rivers. Wow. What a game. What a performance. What an opportunity for the Denver Nuggets bench, the role players, to rally around their MVP when he clearly was battered, bruised, and tired. Yoke did not have it tonight. He was tired tonight. Tonight, Nikola Jokic shot only 6 of 16. This was only his 12th, I want to say 12th maybe, 12th time this season having a negative plus minus. 18, 10, and 11 in his 16th triple-double of the season and one of his four worst games of the season. The Oklahoma City Thunder game, this game, I got to go back in the register, but one of his four worst games of the season. He was bad. He missed two clutch free throws. He was 6 of 8 from the free throw line. He was 0 of 5 from 3. He airballed three three-pointers. One of them was a late game shot attempt. Wasn't good, but you know what? Listen to this. Aaron Gordon, 23 points, 9 rebounds tonight, 8 of 12 from the field, 75%. He was 7 of 7 to start the game. He was 3 of 5 from three-point line, 4 of 4 from the free throw line. He was a minus 5, but he played excellent. Monte Morris, 21 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, 8 of 13 from the field, 5 of 6 from the three-point line. Wow. One steal, he was a minus four, but he played great. Will the Thrill Barton, 13 points, three rebounds, four assists, four of 11, three of eight from three, a two of two from the free throw line with a block and a steal, a minus three. Was not good in the first three quarters, but he hit two clutch threes in the last five minutes of the game and literally changed the outcome of the game. Great performance. The Denver Nuggets win 115 to 110. That's their fifth straight win. That's the seventh of the last eight wins. Seven of the last eight they've won. They're, they are streaking. They are now 12 and 4 in their last 16, and they're on a five game winning streak with four more winnable games to go, and they are moving up the standings, man. Shout out to Austin Rivers tonight. Seven points, two rebounds, three assists. 2 of 5 from the field, 2 of 5 from 3, 1 of 2 from the free throw. He was a plus 9 tonight. Great game from Austin Rivers. Jermichael Green tonight, 3 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 of 2 from the field, 1 of 2 from 3. He was a plus 4 tonight. Bryn Forbes tonight, 5 points, 1 of 5 from the field, 1 assist. He was 0 of 3 from 3, but 3 of 4 from the free throw line. He was a plus 10 tonight. Bones Highland, 11 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists, went after Davion Mitchell. He was two, 3 of 6 from the field, 2 of 5 from 3, 40%, 3 of 3 from the free throw line, and on, on, a, on a foul three-point attempt. He was a plus 9. DeMarcus Cousins, Boogie Cousins, as I was saying literally months ago, sign Boogie Cousins. Give that man a contract. Let him have an opportunity, and I guarantee you he changes the complexion of the team. If you were part of this channel, you already know. We were saying sign Boogie last year in 2021. At the end of the year, during the middle end, middle beginning of the season, I was telling y'all, we need to sign Boogie Cousins. What did I say? They signed him to a full-time end-of-the-year contract, and what does he do? He comes out with nine points. Eight rebounds, one assist, three of six from the field, three of four from the free throw line, one block, two steals, plus ten. He was tied for the game high plus ten with Bryn Forbes. No, sorry. He was tied for a game high plus ten. Yeah, with Bryn Forbes. And Bones Highland was a plus nine. Y'all, that that trio, that trio, Boogie Cousins, Bryn Forbes, and Bones Highland. That's going to win somebody a playoff game, and it's going to be the Denver Nuggets. Because having Bones Highland continue to elevate his game come playoff time with Boogie Cousins in the middle, Brent Forbes, the sharpshooter he is, and they all play effort on defense. That's the thing, man. They might not. Brent Forbes might be small, but he gives effort. Like, you could tell he went through the Spurs system. He gives effort on defense. Boogie was exceptional. Exceptional. Words cannot encapsulate how excellent he was tonight. Words cannot encapsulate the amount of pressure he put on the Sacramento Kings tonight. 
He was excellent, bar none. He had two dunks, two dunks essentially back to back. I want to say what is the third quarter? Y'all, the stretches he had was excellent. Boogie Cousins took over the game. Took over the game. Y'all, if Aaron Gordon was the best player on both sides of the court tonight, locking up Harrison Barnes when he was on, even though Harrison Barnes had a great game, 23-9 and nine for him, Boogie Cousins made, he busted the game wide open. Literally, when Yoke went out in the first quarter, Yoke was, had only had the Nuggets up one with 2.10 minutes left. Boogie Cousins closed the quarter with a 7-0 run, and the Denver Nuggets went into the second quarter up 38-31 to because Boogie Cousins came on the scene and literally changed the game. Boogie Cousins is going to be instrumental for this team. So glad they signed him. Give that man his flowers. Give that man his flowers. This was a team victory. Everybody contributed. The field goal percentage tonight. The Nuggets shot 46% from the field. They held They held Sacramento to 43. They shot 37% from the three-point line. That's great. 16 of 43. They held Sacramento to only 9 of 30. And that's meaning they only gave up 30 attempts. And again, the Nuggets play that way. They don't want to give up three-pointers. They want you to shoot twos. They only shot 30% of those. The Nuggets were 23 of 29 from the line for 79%. And then the Sacramento Kings were 25 of 33 for 76%. The Nuggets had 12 turnovers tonight. They're averaging like 13 over this streak. You know, they've been streaking. Uh, the Nuggets are, four, they were 14 and 6. The Nuggets are 15 and 6 in their last 21 games. 15 and 6 in the last 21 games, y'all. They are just putting it together. Now, remember, early in the season, this win wouldn't happen because they would have slipped. The bench would have slipped. They wouldn't have had the fortitude, nor the camaraderie, nor the chemistry to get this done. But they have literally turned things around since the end of December and into the month of January. They are a completely different team. They have been one of the best teams in the NBA. The Nuggets had 45 rebounds tonight. They only had four offensive rebounds. They only had five steals tonight. They had three technical fouls. Uh, Boogie got called for a cheap one. Austin Rivers got one. And then there was another one. can't remember who it was. Man, again, y'all. The Kings play well, 20, 26 points, 10 assists, and 5 rebounds for De'Aaron Fox, 24 points, 5 rebounds, and 3 assists for Harrison Barnes, and 14, 16, and 7 for DeMontis Sabonis, and then even Justin Holiday had 15 points on 4 of 8 from 3, and Jeremy Lin, 12 points and 7 rebounds. Like, they survived. They survived. The Phoenix Suns were fighting for their playoffs lives today. They're fighting for the play-in. They're fighting for the play-in. Now, the Denver Nuggets have won five games in a row. They're tied for the fifth seed at 35 and 25. They're tied for the fifth seed at 35 and 25, you all. They're 10 games above 500. I want y'all to think about where this team has been this season. And the fact that they are now 10 games over 500 is excellent. Astronomically important. They're tied. They're tied for the fifth seed, and now they're only two and a half games back from the fourth seed, and they got four more very winnable games in a row with more winnable games after that. They've already beaten the Warriors twice. They have four more winnable games and then another winnable game versus the Warriors. I'm telling y'all. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Telling y'all. Telling y'all. The Nuggets are on to something. I realize that things weren't pretty tonight, but you win. The Nuggets have won five of the last six. They've won seven of the last eight. The Denver Nuggets are playing well. They had a five-game win streak earlier. They have another five-game win streak now. And had they not, and again, y'all, had 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 Yoke played in that Utah Jazz game, they could have won that game. So I think now the Denver Nuggets are... They're 12 and 3 in the last 15 games that Nikola Jokic has played. I think they're 12 and 3. Let me count this. Kings, Warriors, Magic, Raptors. Kings, Warriors, Magic, Raptors. So they have two, sorry, Kings, Kings, Warriors, Magic, Raptors. That's five. The Celtics, five and one. The Knicks, six and one. The Nets, seven and one. Yoke played in the Pelicans game, so that's 7-2. He didn't play in the Jazz game. He lost the Timberwolves game. He played in that, that's 7-3. And, and then they won against the Bucks, the Pelicans. So that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12-3. Twelve 
They're 12 and 3 in the last 15 games that Nikola Jokic has played, y'all. They are booming. I know it wasn't a pretty game. Don't care. MVPs are allowed to have bad games. Michael Jordan had bad games during the season. But the fact of the matter is, this player, Nikola Jokic, has only had 12 negative plus minus games this season. Changes everything, y'all. Y'all, y'all, hit the subscribe button. Let's get this channel to 10,000 by the end of the season. Y'all, we can do it. We can do it. I, I'm, I'm going to blow this channel up. I'm going to blow. We are literally going to be one of the faces of NBA Twitter, NBA YouTube, because this channel, this community, we're going to do it because we're going to build it together. There's so much I want to get to, so much we want to talk about. But the more we build up the channel, the more revenue we can build up, the sponsorship, the advertisements, y'all. And then this goes to a completely different level. I'm telling y'all. I can't wait, y'all. I'm so excited, man. I, I know it wasn't a pretty game for the MVP, but y'all got to be happy with the team win, y'all. Swipe again. Hey, man, I'm out. I'm going to see y'all soon.